Okay, and we are back. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the stream. It's me. It's MD Tenebris. I'm back again to bring you some more mediocre gaming. Below me on the screen, I have three links. There is a red link and a pink link. Those are to my YouTube channels. If you like Pokemon or Politopia, feel free to check them out. You can like, you can subscribe. If you click the bell, it will let you know when there are new videos available. The purple link is to my Twitch. It's where I am now. I'm here on Saturdays at 2 and on Wednesdays at 6.30. That's p.m. Eastern time. So if you want to come join the chat, hang out, talk to me live, that's the place to do it. There is also in the information box a link to a Discord channel. If you want to get me offline, talk to me about any of the games I play or anything in general, you can do it there. So today, today I was playing around with this idea. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So, kind of wanted to work with this deck. Hang on, I gotta go back. Because the, it doesn't show up properly on my screen when I do it in that window. Because thanks, Pokemon. So I wanted to try and do something with this Reva Broom EX card. Um, 280 HP. You got this one move, Accelerator Flash. If this Pokemon moves from your bench to the active spot, this turn, this attack does 120 more damage. So you're doing 140 damage for one energy, which isn't too bad. It's a decent amount of damage. It's not a great amount of damage, but it's a decent amount of damage for the energy cost. And then we have the Shattering Speed here. Three energy, discard this Pokemon, and all attached cards, you do 250 damage. So again, not a ton of damage coming out here. Um, But it's an interesting, interesting card. So, I'm trying to pair this. I saw this recently in another deck, um, and I was very impressed. I'm trying to pair this with this Petrant EX. Once during your turn, you may switch one of your bench to Dark Pokemon, except Petrant EX with your active Pokemon. If you do, the new active Pokemon is now poisoned. Can't use more than one subjugating Tain per ability. So, we are also having here the Morpeko. So, the idea is you swap the Morpeko into the active using the Petrant ability, and then... This, in a hungry hurry, if this Pokemon has no energy attached, it has no retreat cost, you can just retreat your Morpeko back and get the Rev of Room back into the active spot, switching from the bench to the active, getting access to this Accelerator Flash. So that's kind of the deck I wanted to do today. I wanted to try and build this deck today. We're going to look at these other cards in here because you're like, why is there a Golduck in this deck? Well, put up to four Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. For a colorless energy. So the idea was you use the gold duck to get the Rev of Room and the Varoom back from your discard pile to put onto your bench again. But it does take a little bit of setup. So that would be the cost for using the Shattering Speed move. I also have in here a Ravska, right? This is because the Revival Blessing put a Pokemon from your discard pile onto your bench. So this might be the key. This might be it right here. You have the Ravska because this, you could take just the Rev of Room and put it right back onto your bench with this Rapska. Which I think might be the way to go. Um, because then you put the energy onto it. And you can use the Petrun to put the, the Morpeko in. You can retreat the Morpeko. And you can attack immediately with the Rev of Room next turn. Um, it's going to be a little hard to get this deck to work the way I kind of want it to work. For sure. But this is kind of what I wanted to work on today. We're going to be good. Let's see if we can make this deck work. This will be interesting as fuck. So we have the Rev of Room start. I think we start like this. We have a Bills transfer. And we have a Giovanni's Charisma. So we're going to go Steel Energy there. We're going to end the turn. Oh, so I wish their Mewtwo EX was in the active spot. This looks like it's going to be uh, an Abra, uh, an Alakazam EX deck with a uh, Mewtwo EX in it. But we'll see how this goes. Um, and this Adamant, I can discard a Steel Energy and look for any two cards, which is kind of big. No. They literally fucked it up. The grass Pokemon evolves into Ravska. They fucked it up for me. Okay. So this is how I wanted the deck to work. That's it. 
That's how I wanted the deck to work. Very simple. You get 140 for one energy. It's quick setup. Nice and efficient. I can swap this guy in and out. As, as long as I've got those two on the bench, I can swap this guy in and out. No problem. Um, Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So that's how it works. I'm glad it works. I mean, I wouldn't have had to, I could have used the Adamant for something else. But I'm glad I went for those two. Um, another Petrant. We don't need it. We're going to go Bills Transfer here. I guess we'll, we'll just grab both of them. Why not? Um, we could put the Psyduck here as well. Um, what does he do? All right. And then, yeah, we're just going to swap in our more Peko. We're going to retreat. We're going to hit for 140. No problem. No, this is the one. Prevent all damage. Uh, prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon done to this Pokemon. Um... It's kind of a nice one because it does 180 damage, which is not not too bad. It's more than my Rev of Room does. Um, Dex 30, damage for each Psychic Energy attached to all your... Ooh, this guy's going to be a fucking pest. Um, I think this deck might need Boss's Orders. I think we actually might need some Boss's Orders in here. Oh, sweet. Got another Steel Energy. We're going to put that on here. We're gonna move our more Peko in the start. We're gonna retreat. We're gonna take out the Snorlax. Cool, cool, cool. We get another prize card. I got food in my door. I gotta go grab it. Stick. We got the gold duck. Okay, so we got a Mimikyu here. So I can't hurt the Mimikyu. Um which I did not factor in. So they actually have, um, that kind of sucks. We're just gonna retreat this guy. I guess I'll put the gold duck forward um, and end the turn. We're just gonna have to deal with their stall. Oh man, it's like a grilled cheese burrito. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. All right. We go. Who am I putting forward? Probably this Morpeko, right? One shot. That's not what we needed at all. Here comes the fucking Mimikyu again. Um, monkey is all the energies because um because they don't want to lose the Mewtwo and lose all the the damage, but it also means that I can just move this guy in, take him out, no problem. Um, very cool, very cool. That's sneaky as hell. I like that. You could do it with a stage three, a stage two Pokemon as well. Oh, here comes the boss's orders. But they're actually gonna move my uh Rev of Rumen, I'm guessing. Unless they go for the Petra run. Yeah, it is a little broken. Still predictable. Mm. 
Hmm. I'm in a bad spot. I have to hope they don't have another, um, boss's orders. We're out of energy as well. Hmm. I need to find a boss's order. God damn, dude. Sucks. So I guess I need way more boss's orders in this deck. <laughs> Just put him right back on the bench. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah, I doubt I have it. They got 14 cards, 12 cards in their hand. Yeah, that's probably game. Unfortunately, weren't able to uh, deal with their stupid stall aspect. Ugh. Excuse me. I've been um I've been thinking about I've been thinking about doing this card for a little while. The Petron more Peko. Um seemed like an interesting one. Um I think I saw it in another deck as well. Um But yeah, I saw the accelerator flash and I was like, oh I guess this might work with these guys, but I mean you know they played the the Mimikyu. I actually have an Alakazam EX deck on my on my YouTube channel. It's like the best performing video that I've done. I think it's got like 4k views or something like that. Yeah, this guy's just wasting time. Alright. Let's see what we get. We got heads. We're going first, baby. Let's see what we get. The room to start. We have the bills transfer. I wonder what deck this is going to be. Thick Charmeleon is playing. Hmm. It's a Giratina. Um, so we may have already lost. <clears throat> I'll play this out. He's doing 40 damage. <laughs> Mm. So actually, we could go Earth and Vessel into two Steel Energies. And then use the Adam and discard those two Steel Energies, grab the Morpeko and the Rev of Room. Evolve this guy, use the Petra Run to put the Morpeko in, retreat the Morpeko. He threw two Giratina Vs into the Lost Zone. Um, That's a choice. That's that's a choice to make. So they, they think, I guess they're planning on going for the Sableye? For damage? Like, they've only got two cards in here now, right? Yeah. What are they doing? Oh, that's perfect. You know why? Because I can grab the steel energies right back out. Done. Eight, nine. So we got some of the price cards as well. Go more Peko here. We go Rev of Room. Alright, we're going to move this more Peko into the active. Now we're going to retreat. We're going to go energy retrieval here. 
Grab both of these. Double damage, electric to water type. Banging, baby. We're going to take a prize card. Look at that. It's a Reller. All right. We got Bill's transfer, so we could go check, see if we can find a Rapska next turn. Oh, man. When it works, it works. When it works, it works. When you're going up against Charizard X, it's probably going to be a little too tough to get any. That's the meta we live in. That's the meta we live in. So we're going to see. All right. Two switches. What's with getting rid of the doubles? Why Why do they hate? Like, what? What is this? Charizard is pretty powerful stuff. There is not a single Pokemon in the game, aside from Charizard, that self-energizes itself as soon as you put it into play and also can has one extra energy to disperse to your team. Um, it's absolutely mental to me that they thought that was a good idea. And they only gave it um, two energy retreat. Go like this. This guy's now doing 70 damage. It's not a lot. Perfect. All right, we're going to go retreat into the Rev of Room, and we're going to hit for 140 damage with the Accelerator Flash. You see, like, this is kind of what I was hoping. Like, you get your deck up and running quickly, um, and it allows you to just deal with your opponent's Pokemon before they can get up and running. Um, but with, like, Rotom V and Pidgeot EX and all of these new ways to grab, like, the specific cards you need, like, it becomes very difficult to outpace... Um, even, even decks that are meant to evolve, like if they didn't have rare candy in this meta, it would be so much more fun. It would be so much more fun. If every Charizard X had to come through a Charmeleon, if every Dragapult X had to come through a Drokalok, like, it's like, that's the reason they have these stage two Pokemon is because they're stronger, but they're also harder to get to and they take longer. Like that was the whole point. It's like, why are they, they just making all these new rules up? So it's tough. But that's okay. We're in a great position here. We got four cards in the discard pile, so the Cramorant can, in fact, come in. They do have the Beach Court. Manaphy can retreat. I don't know why you're putting the energy on your Pokemon, my friend. All right, we got Nyono. What do I want to do? Do I? I'm going to evolve this guy into Reller. I'm going to save the Morpeko. I don't think I need to go Morpeko. Um, I think what we want to do is we want to find another Veru. Um, we want to keep it safe. Keep it secret. Um, and then we're going to go Iono. Uh, see what we get. What do we get? What do we get? Boss's orders. That's an interesting one. Okay. Um, we're gonna put the steel energy on there, and then we're gonna go subjugating chains for our more peco. We're gonna retreat the more peco back into the rev of room. We're gonna take out the manaphy for our third prize card. Double damage, two eighty. You gotta love it. Gotta love it. Very happy with that. The dark energy. All right. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. We put it on the Reller. Could put it on the Reller. Yeah, I don't know why you chuck out two Giratina feet at the start. Doesn't this deck normally only play three? I've seen some that only play two. They got the boss's orders coming in. What are you going to do with the boss's orders? It's entirely useless against me. Maybe they're going to retreat and they're going to hit the, uh, hit the Rapska. That'd be a little painful. Do we have a Reller? We still have a Reller in the deck. Interesting. Now we see. Do they have another Giratina V? Very curious. They do. Okay. Perfect. Game on. We got five cards in the discard pile. Prime Rant can take out the Rabska. We have a boss's orders, though. Hmm. Don't need to use it. Uh, I'm very confused. Go for another Rev of... Yeah. We're going to go like this. Put the Morpeko in play. We're going to retreat. Or the Rev of Room with the energies on them. And we're going to go Shattering Speed. No, I don't want to put an energy. 
One shot the Giratina. And we're going to, I guess, play um play the Zassian. Can't get hit by the cram ramp. Won't get taken out, I mean. Hostone Giratina is pretty cool uh, when it gets up and running and you play it right. The interesting thing about this that I don't get is you, you play your Giratina V into the Lost Zone. It only needs one card, one energy. You can look at the top four cards of your deck, and you can draw two extra cards per turn and stack the Lost Zone. Like, this card plays the deck itself. Like, it sets its own deck up. I don't know why you would discard two of them just to kind of go for this setup instead. I mean, they went for the Sablai as well. Um, we're gonna put this... No! Yeah! Um... Go like this. That's the game. Don't need to do anything else. We're gonna retreat. For the rev of room here. We're gonna get another accelerator flash off. And that, my friends, is the game. We got a win. We snagged one from the Giratina V Lost Zone deck. Very happy. Very, very happy with that. All price cards take... Fantastic. And I'm going to sit and it, it, it skips through mine. Mine, I don't get to watch mine as long as I have to watch the opponents when I lose. Insane. So toxic. Okay. So that is going to be it from me today. I hope that everyone that came along for the stream had a good time. I actually, I had a pretty good time. This is a pretty fun deck. Um, When you can get it all set up and working. There's a lot of moving parts. It's a little bit finagly. Um, if there are any other Pokemon... That require being switched in to do damage, Palafini X or something else like that. Um, that setup would would work for that. Um, can't think of any more off the top of my head. I think I got it originally from Palafini, so um, which would probably be much stronger. But uh, we wanted to do Rev of Room today. I was interested in this card. It looked kind of fun, and yeah, definitely not the most efficient uh, or the most uh, effective version of this deck. So yeah, if you if you throw this card into another deck. Let me know what's in the deck. I'd love to hear it. Put it down in the comments. Uh, be great. Be great. I love theory crafting and learning about how decks are, are put together. So below me on the screen, there are three links. There is a red link and a pink link. The red is to my YouTube channel, MD Tenebris Plays Pokemon. The pink is to my YouTube channel, MD Tenebris Plays Polytopia. If you like either of those games or you enjoyed what you saw today, feel free to go and check them out. You can like, you can subscribe. It helps the channel. You can click the bell. It will let you know when I put up new videos. Purple link is to my Twitch. That's where I am right now. I'm here on Saturdays at 2 p.m. and on Wednesdays at 6.30. That's p.m. Eastern Time. So if you want to come and join the chat, talk to me live, hang out with these guys, you're welcome. Come and hang. It's all good. There's also in the information box a link to a Discord channel. If you want to get me offline, talk to me about any of the games I play or anything in general, that's the place to do it. So I'd like to thank everyone that came along for the stream today. And you, the viewer at home, if you're watching this on Twitch or on YouTube after the fact, I hope you're enjoying the content, and I appreciate the support. So if you feel like following or subscribing or doing any of that good stuff, probably put a smile on my face so wherever you are in the world i hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening i hope you have a great night's sleep tonight hope you wake up very well rested and hungry to take on tomorrow that is going to be it from me today this is md tenebris i'm signing off so take it easy peace out and adios thanks